show series. I find that a lot of times people in life are afraid. Are afraid to say, you know, I want to be on television. Afraid to say, I want to be a professional dancer. I want to be a professional photographer. I want to be a model. I want to be an actor. I want to be an actress. I want to be a director. I want to be a writer. People are afraid to say those things out of their mouths because they are afraid of the reaction. Because, you know, those art forms aren't conventional. And even in my life, you know, I remember leaving Baltimore to travel to L.A. a year and a half ago with the idea of writing for television. You know, that's what I intended to do, to garner an agent and write for television. But instead, you know, God's journey and God's plan for me has been different. So as I've continued to record and release YouTube videos, as I continue to blog in hopes of reaching my level of fame, you know, by having my own television or talk show series on Logo or Bravo or NBC, ABC, MTV, you know, to be able to give uh, a different face and a different voice to the mainstream. You know, that's my level of fame for now. And I'm at a point where I'm very confident in saying that because I know that every day that I wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning and get in front of that computer to post at ZimVanAdams.com to edit or digitize video footage to promote my links to network with other individuals every day that I do that I am confident that I am moving myself closer and closer to my level of fame and everyone has their own level of fame fame isn't only in the entertainment industry your personal fame could be you know you getting a promotion at your job from assistant to director that's your level of fame never be afraid to come out of your mouth and speak that into existence and that's one thing that you know when I watch other individuals travel their journey one thing that I sort of always respect are those who are confident and strong enough to speak their truth you know to speak certain happenings into existence I find that the difference between those who make it and those who don't is the line of fear. There are those of us who have not been afraid to cross that line of fear, to suffer the sacrifices, to make the sacrifices rather, you know, to suffer through the struggles, to suffer the trials and tribulations, to garner what we want. And then there are those who choose to stay on this side of that line of fear, you know, and live their comfortable conventional life which is fine which is totally okay because I've been at moments even within this past year and a half I've been at moments where I've wanted to retreat back over that line of fear and to do something every day that's comfortable that's safe that's guaranteed by standards of I go to work every day I bring home a check every week or every two weeks I pay my bills I drive my car I live in my apartment I live but I've chosen to cross that line of fear and it is my belief that in life, the 10% of individuals who cross that line of fear to do are those who make it, who are those who reach their level of fame. There's no such thing as failure. Being evicted from your home, having your car repossessed, none of that is failure. Failure is when you quit, when you stop, when you don't, when you escape your passions, when you escape your desires, because you fear the unknown. That to me is the only level of failure. For as long as you continue to try, for as long as you continue to do, you succeed and ultimately God will never allow your efforts to be in vain. That level of fame, your level of fame, will come to fruition. Maintain your faith and know that for as long as you put forth the energy, the effort, the desire, and the passion, the Lord will take care of everything else. My message overall, reach your level of fame by any means necessary. Speak your level of fame into existence. Never fear what you don't know. Because once you quit and once you stop, then yes, you have failed.